Hi friends, in this video we are solving a problem on surface integral. This topic we are chosen from vector integral calculus. You see, surface integral evaluation is nothing but we have to do double integral over s f bar dot n bar ds where f bar is a vector point function. They are given x plus y square times half i minus 2xj plus 2yzk. They are given in three dimensional plane. Right. And s is the surface where s is the surface of the plane. 2x plus 2, 2x plus y plus 2z is equal to 6 in the first octant. They are given first octant. Means you can take a, either xy plane or yz plane or zx plane you can take. Because f bar dot, you see, first given that we have to evaluate double integral f bar dot n bar ds. f bar is nothing but, are they given a f bar vector point function? Yes. f bar we required. Next, n bar, n cap, n cap or n bar, if I written n bar, but it should be, remember, it is a unit normal vector, right, so n cap. Next, we need to find out ds, ds is nothing but here, it is projection of, on, projection on r, uh, like a xy plane or yz plane or zx plane, and later you need to find out limits, these are the works you have to do. First, are they given f bar in the problem? Yes. Next, second one, are they given a unit normal vector? No. So, what they given? Surface. What is the surface here? Consider uh, surfaces they are given. You see, surface pi is equal to 2x plus y plus 2z minus 6. You can consider. What is the n bar here? n bar is nothing but del pi. Na? So, what is the del pi here? i into dou pi by dou x. Nothing but what you will have? x derivative 1. 1 into 2 is 2i plus y derivative is 1. With respect to y. Na? So, j with respect to z. So, k that's it. So, this is n bar. Now, I want unit normal vector. Unit normal vector is nothing but n bar by mod n bar. That is del pi by mod del pi. So, this is 2i plus j plus 2k divided by square root of 2 square i coefficient square plus j coefficient square plus k coefficient square. That is, you will have 2i plus 2j plus 2k. Here, you have 4 plus 1 plus 4 is nothing but 9. Square root of 9 is nothing but 3. That's it. This is n bar. You have n bar. Na? Next, I require to find out ds. ds means here, either it is a projection of xy plane, means here yeah, three projections you have. You see, what are those means? dx dy by mod n dot xy is there. Na? So, write down n bar k. Next, this may be, may be you see, dx dz by n bar dot uh, y is missing. Na? So, write down here j. Next, dz to dx by, which is missing, uh, y is, already I have written this, no? so, dz dy, here x is missing, so, write n bar dot i, so, any one of them you have to take, how you can take means, see the surface first, see the surface, surface what they gave, 2x plus 2 by, 2x plus y plus 2z is equal to 6, in the first octant, they are not given uh, limits of z or x is equal to 0 to something, y is equal to 0 to something, z is equal to 0 to something, so, what you have to do means, you can choose any one of them, I am choosing in this case here, xy plane I am choosing, okay na, you can take xz plane, zx plane, zy plane or xy plane, I am choosing xy plane, so in the xy plane, dx dy by n bar dot k is I required, so n bar do you know, yes I know, now n bar dot k, so more or less of, what is n bar here you have, this one, you see 2i plus j plus 2k dot k, so dot product you know, i dot k 0, j dot k 0, k dot k is 1, so you will have mod n bar dot k is equal to 2, so here you see, this value also clear. Next, what you require to find? Limits you need to find. See, f bar they are given, n bar just now we are done. ds also we are decided, what, which plane, projection on xy plane or yz plane, zx plane. Next, we need to find out limits, last one. Limits, how you will find out? Means, see the surface. Again, go for the surface only. Surface is 2x plus y plus 2z is equal to 6. 2x plus y plus 2z is equal to 6. Where you are uh, doing this one, double integration on xy plane. On xy plane, obviously, z is 0, friends. On xy plane, z is 0. No z term. So, 2x plus y is equal to 6 on xy plane. On xy plane. Clear? Now, from this, you see, what you required means here? Limits. Limits you required. This is, you see, 2x plus y is uh, in the form. Which form here? It is a degree x power 1, y power 1. So, which is a straight line you are getting now here. It is... Uh, Converted as a plane in two-dimensional space. Plane in two-dimensional space, which is not a square or not a rectangle. So, you will get here independent limits or dependent limits are dependent limits only. When you will get independent limits means, when you that is nothing but constants. When you will get means, if it is a square, but it is a not a square, which is a plane only. 
so in this case how you will get a value means first of all i want to know x value to get the x value put y is equal to 0 that implies 2x is equal to 6 that implies x is equal to what 3 x is equal to 3 they are given in the first antenna so x started from 0 to 3 so x limits i have next i want y limits so will you put x is equal to 0 no, if you put x is equal to 0, what will happen means y is equal to 6. You will say y is from 0 to 6. But if x is 0 to 3, y is 0 to 3 means you will get the region is a rectangle. But is our region is a rectangle? No, it is a plane only. That is the reason only. What we have to do means we have to keep y is left side and take x as right side. Then you will have y is equal to 6 minus 2x. So, now y is started from 0 to 6 minus 2x. Now you observe x is independent and y is dependent on x. That's it. So now you have a limits or not? So can you evaluate this surface integral f bar dot n bar ds easily? Right. Friends, all the values I have written here. This is given f bar and n cap you have 2y plus j plus 2k by 3. Now n bar dot k is nothing but here. You will have k na. So dot product of uh, k you will have 2 by 3. I have written here. ds is an xy plane. Uh, by mod n k na so dx dy by n bar dot k is what you have 2 by 3 now the limits of x is 0 to 3 y are uh, 6 to 6 minus 2x 0 to 6 minus 2x now double integral over s f bar dot n bar ds is equal to double integral so first write on x limits 0 to 3 now you write on y limits 0 to 6 minus 2x now f bar dot n bar ds. Uh, first, it is better to do separately here. f bar dot n bar, do it here. f bar dot n cap. Okay. Let it be. Uh, then, what you will have means i equation. 2 by 3 times of, this is, I'll write here. I'll write here. Now, x plus y square times of i minus 2xj plus 2yzk dot product of 2i plus j plus 2k by 3 into you have the ds also i am writing what is the ds means dx dy by 2 by 3 i have here okay now so i am writing this term also now in this case i will have product dot product do it is a 1 by 3 here by 3 this 3 3 getting cancelled so 1 by 2 write down outside 1 by 2 dot product 2 times of you see 2 times of x plus y square next here day, j dot j1 na? so minus 2x k dot k1 na? so 2 times of 2 is 4 y z that's it into dx dy double integration limits already i have explained so you simplify this double integral of 1 by 2 outside so this is 2x plus 2x minus 2x getting cancelled okay i'll let first letter i'll do the cancellations into dx dy you have now plus 2x minus 2x getting cancelled so from this two you can take two common so it will be outside then integral double integral x plus 2 y z into friends that is uh, not x dy. that replaced friends, by y square only okay integration with respect to x y but here you have another term z so what to do don't put z is equal to zero when you are finding the limits that time only we will do z is equal to zero okay now while finding the limits that time only we will substitute z is equal to 0 to get x y limits but in this case we are in x y plane so change the z value in x y plane convert the z value in x y plane how you can convert means surface given surface is here you have 2x plus y plus 2z is equal to 6 this plane they are given so convert the z value here 2z is there so 2z is equal to what you can write 6 minus 2x minus y that's it you write down now you observe z is in term we will have integral 0 to 3 integral 0 to 6 minus 2x y square plus y friends you see 2z is equal to what you have 6 minus 2x minus y into dx dy okay now you simplify this one integral integral y square plus 6y minus 2xy minus y square into dx dy minus y square plus y square cancel from this what you can take common 2y 2y yes 2y you can write outside integral 0 to 3 integral 0 to 6 minus 2x here also you have i have not written um, now 2y is a common 2y if you take in common then you will have 3 minus x into dx 
dy. Now you have to evaluate this double integral. You see friends, while uh, evaluating the double integral, first here you observe the limit. Limits one limit is x limit is independent and y limit is dependent on x. So first you have to integrate with respect to y. Then because it is dependent now, so we have to integrate with respect to uh, y. Then you will get a function in terms of x after substitution of the limits. Then you integrate with respect to x, you will get the solution. Anyway, integral 0 to 3. Now, 2 times of 3 minus x is outside. Y integration is y square by 2. Limits from 0 to 6 minus 2x into here you have dx. So, here 2 and 2 getting cancelled. Integral 0 to 3, 3 minus x times of. If you substituted upper limit, then you will have 6 minus 2x whole square. Minus lower limit if you are substituted, 0. So, I am keeping same only. Now, here from this, what you can take common? Here 2 is a common. 2, if you written outside, 2 square will come. 4 times of integral 0 to 3, 3 minus x into. Here you have a 3 minus x whole square into dx. So, this is equal to 4 times of integral 0 to 3, 3 minus x whole cube into dx. So, here you observe, this is a bracket power uh, bracket power 3, bracket derivative is minus is there beside? No. So, what I am doing? Outside I am writing minus. Then you will have power plus 1 by power plus 1. Okay, na? now the lower limit and upper limits of uh, this bracket is 0 to 3. So, 4, 4 getting cancelled. Then minus of 3 minus x, so lower limit is 0, upper limit is 3. Now, if you substitute upper limit, you will have 3 minus 3 is nothing but 0. Minus lower limit, if you are substituted, you will have 3. So, finally, you will get here. This value is power 4 is there. Na? So, power 4 here. 3 to the power of 4. Okay. Bracket for this here. Minus 81, minus half minus plus 81. So, this is the answer. Is it clear for everyone? You see what I have done here. First upper limit, if you are substituted, this is 3 minus 3, 0. Minus lower limit, if you are substituted, 0. Means 3 power 4, my 0 minus 81, minus half minus plus 81. Is it clear for everyone? So, like this, we have to evaluate the double integral.